So hi guys, so I'm going to be start to play Nancy Drew and the Sea of Darkness. Oh, and I push close, I guess. But I already... Here we go. This is going to be fun. I'm so excited. So here we go. We're going through a look, carnival, and what's fun, fun, and then a boat comes in. Oh no. Hear the word Magnus. Okay, can we go around anywhere? ND. That's cute. I want to get like an MM. Skiproth Iceland. Nancy, I got your contact info. They're a friend of mine, Moira Chisholm. I think you did some good sleuthing with her in Scotland not too long ago. First, some background on yours truly. You can officially call me a locator of fine goods, per se. Nice things get lost, nice things stay buried for a while. I find nice things, I get a piece of the pie. In other words, I'm a treasure hunter. Currently, I am in Iceland, in a small town called Skipra. When I first arrived, the... Oh, boy. I'm gonna butcher this, I'm sorry. Here, Keats was beached nearby with a long-standing rumor about a treasure concealed somewhere within this old merchant ship. The ship is pretty important to the citizens of Skiprot, and they hold a festival every year to celebrate the year it crashed on the shores. Why celebrate a shipwreck? Don't ask me. I helped restore the ship along with my business partner, Magnus Kiel Johnson, under two conditions. Number one, I'd be entitled to a portion of any treasure found, and two, you can be begin a formal search until this year's festival was finished. We dolled the ship up all pretty, polished the hulls, and Magnus planned to sail it in and commemorate the festival start date. When the ship arrived, empty. No Magnus, no sign of a struggle, nothing. He's just gone. I think Magnus is up to something shady. I think he found the treasure, and now I want you to find him. I have booked you on the next flight to Rick Jalnik. A car will take you to skip off. I'll meet you in town. Boy Voyage, Dagny Silva. Boom, and we're going. Phew, finally made it to town. Oh, it's, oh, it's so clear. Here. Like, I love the audio. Hi it's there. so Are clear. you Miss Silva? Finally, she arrives. I think I'm half made of ice at this point. So, you're Nancy, huh? I'm Dagny. I'm part of the ship restoration team, the one who called you in. You can call me Boss Lady if you want. Or My Queen. Or Dagny, what else? Uh, let's go with Dagny for now and work our way up to the big stuff. <laughs> Can I help? Uh, yes. Find my missing, skeeving, backstabbing business partner, Magnus. I'm sensing you're a little stressed out about this. Ugh. I'm so mad I've been an inch away from setting this town on fire. On fire? Are you okay? What? Oh, just a fire comment. I thought... Metaphors, Nancy. Hmm. Keep up with me here. So listen... Right now I'm focused on this town, Skibrot. There's this ship in town that was being rebuilt. Real old, 18th century. I offered to sponsor the rebuilding project to get the ship floating again. Mostly because I'm super nice and cool like that. But also because there's a rumor about a treasure on board worth millions. Magnus, the man in charge of the project, and my business partner, promised we'd find it and split the earnings. But he's gone missing now? Yep. And left me looking like a fool. When did he vanish? He disappeared some time before our ship crashed into the harbor. They say he must have fallen in the water. But the guy sails for a living. You know what sailors don't do? Drown. That doesn't prove he disappeared on his own. 
After enough time in the biz, a girl knows when she's being backstabbed. If he did find the treasure, I need you to track down Magnus and make him play fair. And if I find the treasure, I'll find Magnus. Yes. The key to finding the treasure is learning about that ship. So, everything's interconnected. Sounds like I've got my work cut out for me. Can I take a look at the ship? Technically, yes. Awesome! How do I get on board? By not being me, apparently. Elizabeth controls the ship, and she hates my guts. She removed the gangway to my ship that I paid for. Did she give you a reason? Oh, something about her family line and ancient blood feuds and murders and, you know, normal boring stuff. Talk to Soren, the festival organizer. He'll make sure she lets you on. What do people in town think about Magnus's disappearance? They're all like, ooh, the ocean is super dangerous in the winter, and ooh, hypothermia, and blah, blah, blah. You know, Icelander stuff. But without a body, you're still convinced he faked his death. Yep, which apparently doesn't take a lot of work in Iceland. <laughs> Actually, being in Iceland would probably be the easiest way to think of death. Not that I'm planning to. But. How do you meet Magnus? I heard about the rumor of the treasure through my connections. Then I approached him. He's a hard guy to pin down, that Magnus. Turns out he's been looking for the treasure for years. I just happened to come in at an opportune moment. Uh huh. What would Magnus do with a treasure? Desperately wants to buy his own ship. He's a ship guy. Ship guys are like that. So the ship he helped rebuild isn't his? We funded it, but it's town property. Goodbye. Hmm. Stay warm. So I guess let me do a little bit of backstory. I actually have seen the entire walkthrough this done, but I don't actually remember... Oh wait, nope, I do. <laughs> um, but yeah, but it's okay. But this is my time plan on my own. The gangway is missing. There's no way on board. Basically. Looks like this dinghy's in good shape. I wonder who owns it. <coughs> the motor's busted. Can't take Got it anywhere it. like this. You know what I want to do one day is like. You know, after I have enough money. I think it'd be just fun to have, like, a summer home in, I don't know, Cali or somewhere where it's warm and I can just fun. Let's... The old Stolka. Huh. I didn't know I want to go up it. Nope, basically nothing up here. Oh, that's interesting. If you notice... Okay, so notice the speed of the snow here. And then notice it here. It's kind of slower, it's interesting. That was cool. Uh, open that one up. This must be a puzzle of some sort. That we'll have to solve later, I guess. Everything in the gift shop is available for purchase. Wait, how much money do I have? I don't want to spend it without knowing how much money I have. <sighs> Oh, 
I can't afford that. If you can't afford a piece of chocolate, that's just sad. You'll need more money for that. Maybe you can get a postcard. I'll need to earn some money first. Okay. I need to match each sale to its name. Oh, I don't know. Maybe later. Hi there. I'm looking for Soren. You must be Nancy. I'm Soren, the organizer of the Ancestors Festival. I run the Culture Center here in Skip Row. Nice to meet you. Can you help me get onto the ship? Ah, the Herlikite. Is Elizabeth Herlikite. not manning the gangway? The gangway's missing, unfortunately. Oh, dear. Well, that's highly unusual. I'll take care of it straight away for you. Elizabeth is a rose, truly. But she does have thorns. What do you think happened to Magnus? I admit I haven't the faintest idea. That man's mind is a hive of mysteries, an enigma, an impenetrable den. So you two never really talked? <laughs> an understatement. Why, the man hardly spoke ten words to me the entire time I knew him. I do hope... If he were to turn up, say, less than alive, it would spell bad news for me. I'm already disliked, and it would only show the others how easy it is to make someone disappear. What is this place? This is my battle station. The place where I endeavor to fight my way through the thickest mysteries of Icelandic history. Here, confusing ancient shipwrecks and obscure writings from millennia past are converted into knowledge and truth. Also, I have swords. Most important thing, swords. So, you're a historian, archaeologist? A bit of both. I dabble. I spent some years at Harvard pursuing my doctorate in Viking history before returning to Skiprot for research. I'm one of the only few to ever travel in this town. Everyone here should try it sometime. Really shakes up the old bag of prejudices. I guess that explains why you don't have much of an accent. Oh, quite. Do you have anything which might help with my investigation? Hmm. If I'm not in town, I'm always locked up in here. I do have some very nice pamphlets, though. The Pamphlet Lover's Journal rated them a 9 star out of 10. <laughs> I put them together myself. Here's one for your troubles. Well, it's hard to turn down an award-winning pamphlet. <laughs> I'll see if I can make use of this. That actually does look really nice. I love this. Easy pancake flipping, threatening political disasters. I'm taking a screenshot of that with my phone. Okay, so I'm going to start kind of be ending this video soon. Thanks, Soren. Tell me about your research. Sharp things. Ceremonial sharp things. Wedding spears. Funeral spears. New baby celebration daggers. Birthday axes. Congrats bows. Turns out, Vikings have a lot of weapons for every occasion. Nothing says I love you like a new murder tool. <laughs> Most of these can be found on shipwrecks or near burial sites. Luckily, there are no lack of those in these parts, so I've got plenty of work to do. Old Gudrun over there is my favorite of all. She's a replica, not an original. I use her to knock icicles off the roof. Later. Well, on with it. Okay. I think... Yep. Okay, so let's just finish up looking around here. wonder what he was talking about. 
Let's see if we can find what he was talking about. wanted to go in an ice cave. I think that'd be fun. It's a really good sketch. Very mm, that's sad. That looks like a fun festival. Wow, I hate to be on the chopping end of one of those blades. Yeah, that would not be fun. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Unless somebody barges in on us outside. Okay.